When we talk about jeans, it sounds very casual and easy, but without a doubt, there's some tips and tricks that can elevate your style. Today, I'm going to show you how to style jeans and how to look chic and put together. And I will also give you some tips on how to look taller and slimmer. So the first outfit is going to be the classic perfect for the office kind of outfit. This first outfit that I'm going to show you is with a skinny jean as a base. I chose this type of jeans because I think it's kind of like the more known and the most used. In my opinion, skinny jeans tend to look more flattering when they come in a dark wash, especially if you're like me and you have an hourglass type of body. I have these ones that are very classic and even though they're very fitted, they are actually super comfortable and they help to shape your body. They are actually very affordable, so I'm going to link them in the description. And I really like that they also have a curvy line, so if you need that, it's in the description. And of course, the first outfit that I'm going to show you is going to be with a white button-down shirt. This is something that every woman should have in their closet as a basic. It's a piece that I would suggest that you invest in because it's going to last you a long time and it's also going to save you a lot of time when you're in a rush, you don't know what to wear. It's something that will always look good and you will look put together. I have been thinking about replacing mine for a while now, but I haven't found the one that I love and because I really want to spend in a good shirt. This one has lasted me for years, but it has seen better days. I think it's time to replace it. I do love this fabric though because it just doesn't get wrinkles and that's wonderful because I don't want to iron. Even though this is a very classic look and it's pretty easy to put together, there are certain changes that you can do to elevate the outfit and make it look more chic and elegant and put together without doing any effort. The first thing that I'm going to change in this outfit is to tuck in the shirt. This is going to make me look more put together and it's also going to show the high rise of the jeans and that will give an effect of elongating the legs making me look taller. If you like to see a video on how to look taller and slimmer just let me know in the comments. Even though I'm not the shortest, living in Australia definitely puts me in the petite category. I am 5 foot 4 and I have learned a few tricks and tips to make me look taller. I know they can be very useful because to be honest I do not wear high heels anymore I do need a little bit of heel because my feet tend to hurt if I am wearing something very flat so I need a little bit of heel anyway this outfit looks great with a pair of estilettos if you're going to the office or just if you want to wear high heels but my preference is to wear black ankle boots but to be honest this look will go with any kind of shoe that you wear this is why this look is such a basic and for the final touches I'm going to open a few buttons to make a deeper V and also roll up my sleeves this will make your outfit look more intentional a little bit more sexy show a little bit more skin and of course paired with your favorite accessories layer some necklaces some rings whatever you want the next outfit is very cool chic and effortless this is my favorite outfit of the world this is what I wear when I want to feel chic fashion but at the same time feel like myself I really think that this outfit brings out my personality I don't know why I guess it's because it actually makes me feel good about myself and like gives me confidence that's why I really love it and in theory is nothing outside of the box but its simplicity is what makes it great and cool but of course we have to make some changes to take it out of the this is what I found in the closet and I'm going to wear it to just stay at home and make it look more like, I don't know what it is that she has, but she looks so damn cool. For this look, I chose a very classic pair of jeans. There are straight leg jeans. They're a little bit cropped. These jeans are definitely rigid and they are mid rise. I wouldn't say they're very, very high rise, but they're kind of like between high rise and mid rise. I really like this light color to wear with this kind of look because I think it's very easy to change the t-shirt to any color and it will look great. Keep in mind when you're buying this kind of jeans that once you wear them a little bit, they will get bigger and bigger. I would say one size, even two sizes bigger. So when you wash them, they go back to the original shape, but keep that in mind when you're buying them. And I'm going to add white sneakers. The first thing that I'm going to change, do you know what it is? 
I'm going to tuck in the shirt, of course. This is going to highlight my waist, which is the smaller part of my torso, creating some curves in the body. In an hourglass type of body, the top and the bottom tends to be bigger, so if you don't mark the waist, you're going to look more square and even bigger than you actually are. But if we show the waist, like here, you're going to create beautiful curves that will look great it doesn't matter which size you are. I am then going to roll the boot and show a little bit more of the ankle because ankles are the thinnest part of the leg. So when you show a little bit of that, you're going to give the illusion that you have slimmer legs. But what really ends up putting all of this look together is the best accessory of them all and that is a great red lip. A red lip is going to make your outfit look very chic while still being very effortless. These are my two favorite kind of lipsticks. I do have a lot more that I love, but these are the ones that I use the most. Like today, I use both of them. I mix them. And before I continue and show you the next outfit, if you're enjoying this video, please give me a thumbs up. It will help me a lot. white jeans and a monochromatic look. I wanted to include in this video a look with white jeans because I feel it's the one that creates the more confusion. I know it can be a little bit intimidating to wear a full white outfit sometimes, but I promise you that it can look very delicate, very feminine and very elegant if you just keep in mind certain details. First of all, if you're going to wear white, you want to wear the right underwear. Always nude underwear, one that is the color of your skin because this is going to make it blend perfectly under the clothes and you're not going to see anything. Don't wear white under white clothes because it's going to make a contrast with your skin and it's going to be the same as wearing any other color. So always wear nude underwear. Another thing to have in mind is that it doesn't really matter if you mix different shades of white. You can do it, it's completely fine. For example, in this one, it is a different shade of white, but it's also a different texture and that's going to make it look more feminine. By now, you already know which is going to be the first change. Of course, even in this look, I'm going to tuck in the shirt because I want to show the waist of the jeans that is very high rise. These jeans have a straight leg, but they're very, very high rise, like even higher than my waist and this is great for my body type because it's very fitted in the top in the waist it shows all the curves the bum looks great but then it relaxes a little bit in the legs so it is just great and this time i will wear a normal pair of white sneakers because i want a full monochromatic look this will also help you to look taller because visually there's not cut anywhere so that's going to elongate your figure same as before i'm going to roll the bottom of the pants a little bit just for them to hit me in a more flattering place this is something that you almost always want to do if you're a petite like me because the design is usually for someone that has longer legs i think this look is perfect for spring or even for summer but i don't really think that white has to be only for warm weather if you swap the top for a chunky sweater you have a great outfit for winter as well Now, black slouchy jeans. As I told you before, I wanted to include as many kinds of jeans possible. And slouchy jeans are very trendy right now. And at the same time, black is something that everyone should have in their closet. It's a basic piece that you need to have. If you don't want them in a slouchy pair, you can use them in a different type. But this outfit is going to be with a slouchy black jean. You already know by now that I have an hourglass kind of body. So in my opinion, you always need to show a little bit of the figure otherwise it can make you look big so with these kind of jeans that are a little bit more relaxed fit you want to wear something more fitted at the top for me i'm going to be using a black top this is a black body and as you can see it's also black and yes also going to do a monochromatic black outfit this will not only make us look taller because it's not visually cutting the body but will also make us look slimmer black can do that but this time to give it a little bit of something extra i'm going to add a belt this has a gold buckle but the belt is still black so it's not really going to cut anything it's just going to add uh, something something there and of course i'm going to roll the bottom and i'm going to pair this look with some sandals that have a little bit of heel i really like this kind of sandals it makes everything look so feminine and put together and i'm going to wear them in this color because they have similar tones to this it's kind of a raincoat but it's a very thin material i love it because i not only love the style but i love this color and 
because it's very long, it's also going to help us look taller. This trick of using the same color in the top and in the bottom makes your outfit look more intentional and more cohesive. And I simply love this look. I think it's perfect for spring, for those days that it's not very cold, but you do want to wear something, but you don't want something too heavy. These are some of the tips that I have on how to style jeans and create your own outfits. I know they will help you a lot to look more stylish and put together. And if you want more videos like this one, please let me know down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of them. If you like this video, then click in the video over here where I show you how to talk in all of your tops. Un beso. Bye.